most high god we thank you because of your love you have for humanity you send your love so that we may escape your judgment father as many that goes to hear this lord we escape your judgment upon their life in jesus mighty name amen behold the judgment of god upon you now i will shortly pour out my fury upon thee and accomplish my anger upon thee and i will judge thee according to thy ways and we are going to recompense thee for all thy abominations my eyes shall not spare neither will i have pity i will recompense thee according to thy ways and thy abominations that are in the midst of thee and you shall know that I am the Lord that smited Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 8 to 9 the way a father dealt with his stubborn child if he refused to take correction that is the same way even more shall God deal with any of his children that continue to disobey him if God did not spare the angels that sin in heaven, but cast them down to hell and deliver them down unto the chains of darkness, if he also did not spare Sodom and Gomorrah for giving themselves over to wickedness, how did you think he will spare you as you refuse to live the holy life he has commanded us to live? Matthew chapter 5 verse 48 1 Peter chapter 1 15 to 16 As you cannot stand the fury of an armed robber or a terrorist how can you stand when God turned his face against you Our Lord Jesus out of his great love for us left his glory and throne in heaven to come down upon this earth to suffer in your place he is God, but he was born in a manger at this animal house. He took the form of a servant. He was spit upon. He was naked on the cross. He was beaten like a thief, all because of our sins. And yet you throw his love back to his face because you think you own yourself and want to live the way you like when he will pour out his wrath upon you did you think you can stand it see what apostle paul went through just because we the gentiles who we are not formally the children of the kingdom and outcast was given opportunity john chapter 1 11 to 12. second corinthians chapter 11 23 to 28 but to despise this love of god when God will throw you into hellfire, you will cry forever without mercy. Even this gospel tract that is in your hand now, someone pay for it. God is using all this to warn you of the terror ahead of you. But you despise the love of your creator. Wait till you die. As you see yourself in hell, you will regret coming to this world and cause the day you were born as job did you do you know that man or woman that gave you these threats is passing through in the hand of the devil for sharing the true gospel of salvation and he or she is enduring all to make sure you will not be cast into everlasting lake of fire but see how you look down on him and you say he is disturbing you after that you will call yourself a big fool for all the opportunities god gave you to repent which you rejected but by then it will be too late since from your teenage age you have been hearing about heaven and hell god and satan good works and bad works you know that all sinners will end their life in hellfire and you see yourself committing one sin or the other what efforts have you made to stop those sins in your life 
instead you go more deep in your iniquity because God is delaying his judgment against you as the Bible said in Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11 your conscience will judge you on that day and condemn you because you know what your creator hates and you go ahead to be swimming in it daily God who owns you need what he has given you for his work on earth either your time money talent or position but you denied him wait till you die demons will handle you in hellfire for him you see others serving god with all their all they have they will close their shop in the time of midweek activities and you that call yourself a christian we have nothing to do with God till on Sundays, being Sunday, Sunday medicine. Later, you will think you will go to heaven with them. You think you will love this world and still make heaven. See first John chapter 2, 15 to 17. James chapter 4, verse 4. All you children of the devil who put on the dressing code of Satan, that is makeup, attachment, woo. Brazilian wool, painting any part of the body, women that put on trousers and short knickers, short skirts and gown, tight-fitting dress that bring out your shape for the opposite sex to lust and sin against God, or this punk hair style, including this new world pastors and prophets, a plan uh, that barb galas, afro, jewelries, chain earring bangles aprons wheezy trouser tattoo wedding ring including the pastors that wear couples with rings bracelets including the ones churches are producing for their members hats the shoes and the clothes with shiny stone shine shine ultra shine shiny round objects high heel shoes and sandals any artificial things added to the body or immoral dressings that suggest sex to the opposite sex blouse with open back open front open shoulder etc knowing the judgment of god that those who put on these satanic dressings on their body have made themselves the enemies of god in confirmation also many people that our lord jesus took to heaven and hell have said that what took many Christians in heaven hellfire we are these evil dressings you as a lady according to Matthew chapter 5 verse 28 any man who lost after you has sinned against God yet you put on what the word call dress, dress to keep and be parading yourself on the streets when God will cast you into hellfire, you will turn to a roasted monkey. You parents that your daughters are polluting this world by, your, by, by their dressings, and you keep quiet. The way God judged the house of Eli, so shall he judge you. All you people that join the occult or be initiated into witchcraft, and some of you that visit a juju priest for any help, God has vowed to punish you and your children's children even to their fourth generation just because you leave your God and go to his enemy to seek help while your God is the Almighty. Exodus chapter 20, 3 to 6. These salvation messages you are rejecting now at the judgment day your family members and your community may rise up to condemn you because God has designed it that it will be through you that they will get this precious salvation, but you deny them. Wouldn't they be causing you forever in hellfire as they will be grinding their teeth in pains? Woe unto you, scribe and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither go in yourself, neither suffer you there that are entering to go in. Matthew chapter 23 verse 13 the Lord is saying woe unto you pastors 
evangelists, prophets, general overseers, and the church and ministers' wives. Because many of you have led millions of God's people to hellfire by your teachings. That is why the Bible said in James chapter 3, verse 1, that you, you should not be many masters because your own judgment will be stiffer. God, knowing the great sins that most ministers are committing against him, reserve one of the hottest part of hellfire for them. And most of them in hell now may be causing the day they were made a minister over God's people. People will come to church to see God and know the word of heaven. But these backsliding ministers will not preach the complete word of God that will lead the people to heaven. Instead, they will preach the message that will keep the people in their sins. The messages of salvation, sanctification, restitution, purity, holiness, blameless, uprightness, integrity, pure heart, cleanness, perfection, love, truth, obedience, holy night dressings, and readiness for Christ's return have dried up from most pulpits today. As Amos chapter 8 verse 11 to 13 says, Wickedness are on the increase, but most of the people committing them are members of one church or the other. You will see almost all Christian women going naked on the streets and they belong to one church or the other. Is it not because the ministers over them are not insisting on their congregation living a holy life? That was why all this evil are on the increase. God will require the blood of these ones on the pastors over them. These pastors that are rejoicing that they have many members, if they knew the judgment that is waiting for them in the future, they will begin to cry now because the blood of all their congregation will be required by God on them as they are not feeding them with the messages of heaven mentioned above and their members are ending in hellfire. Jesus, out of his mercy, will take someone to heaven and hell, so he or she will tell the world what he saw. These pastors will tell their members not to believe them. God, being fed up with all denominations, raised now the last act of Noah called Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide, Horemon as only those those people who enter the ark of noah we are the ones that we are saved when god destroyed the first world so also now that the end has come now that almost all churches has backslidden god is calling all who desire heaven to join horemo the last ark where they will perfect their lives in holiness awaiting the rapture of the saints Amen. Father, we thank you for these threats. I pray, O oh Lord, as many that hear it, Father, we turn and escape for their dear life in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>